Well, this weekend, a first of its kind event is taking place in DFW, featuring some of the top athletes in the whole world. Their mission is not just to display what they do better than anyone else. It's also an opportunity for them to be a shining example of something many believe is long overdue. Keith Russell reports. And great to see Jocelyn McCauley out there swimming exceptionally well today. As long as anyone can remember, women have been swimming upstream pedaling continuously and racing in the pursuit of being paid the same as their male counterparts in many sectors of life, including athletics. But major progress is being made. It's super important for me to be able to push the limits, to be able to have men and women equal in all areas of sport. Jocelyn McCauley is one of the top triathletes in the world. She's part of the professional triathletes organization, holding its first ever U.S. Open this weekend in Las Colinas, with a million dollars in prizes on the line. What's so unique about this organization, based on their results, the top men's and women's finishers are paid the same. They race at the same events, over the same distance, the same prize money, and the same representation. And so when we formed the PTO, it was an absolute given that we would continue that way. And also ultimately shine a light to other sports. To further equal the playing field, female members of the Professional Triathletes Organization are entitled to 15 months of maternity leave, and it begins from the time they get pregnant until six months after birth, getting full monthly pay and maintaining the world ranking they held prior to getting pregnant. Case in point, Jocelyn McCauley, still ranked as one of the best and now a proud mother of two. It is amazing and groundbreaking and I think all sports need to have some type of policy like this because we don't need to choose between being an athlete and a mom. We can be both. As it stands, the triathlon, which consists of a 1.2 mile swim, almost 50 mile bike ride, and 11 mile run clearly tests the limits of physical endurance. That will be the case for 80 of the top pros and over 1,000 amateurs competing this weekend in North Texas. What does what the PTO has been able to accomplish send as an overarching message to others? We can showcase these, these incredible talents and ultimately inspire more people to be healthy and fit. That was our Keith Russell reporting. The event is free for the public. The women's race starts at 1130 Saturday morning. The men's race starts Sunday afternoon at 230. The starting point is the Lake Caroline area in Las Colinas.